Okay, so this is uh, hello everyone to this uh, job gossip session. Uh, so, like, I know you have already been talking about um, maybe the jobs and the questions you have in the stand up. So, we're basically continuing what we, you, what we were doing before. And um, so, and you can also check the questions that are like pinned. You can try to answer those. So, basically, here again, we are discussing like the jobs you have browsed or like you applied for or you want to apply for. And uh, like anything that like um, you have learned from like looking through all of these job descriptions. Uh, any trends, anything you have learned, or any questions you have in mind, you can basically ask here. Uh, again, we are trying to like basically communicate and see like uh, if there is something that we can learn from each other. So um, please, sir, we need volunteers basically. Um, Uh, okay, um, so this can only be useful if people participate. So uh, let's see. Uh, Bethlehem, do you have like, a, can you open your mic and share? If you can't, of course, you can just write in the chat box that you cannot. Uh, yeah. Am I audible? Can you hear me? Thanks, uh, Johannes. Okay. So, all right, uh, Daisy, Mister, any one of you who can uh, open the mic and share, basically, like just try to answer the questions. Okay, Daisy, go ahead. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, for the jobs that I have applied, before I was applying mostly for data, data roles, data analysts, data engineering, data scientists. But since my track is Gen AI, I decided to focus more on AI jobs. And uh, yeah, so the, the most of the titles is either software engineer in AI or AI engineer. And for the skills that are required, most of them I can see is LLMs, understanding the transformer models, and also prompt engineering. Yeah, so, and fine tuning. So most of the requirements, I feel that I can do them because I've done those projects. But the challenge is they, um, they mostly require three years of experience in software engineering. And mostly it's tagged a mid-level job. Yeah, and, and another challenge is some of them, most of them are in, they are remote, but are, they're based in like a specific location. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you applying on? Okay. 
Pardon? Yes. Can uh, are you applying on Leap or on LinkedIn? What are you applying? Which platforms are you using? I'm using both. So for Leap, I usually take the the job title and I search it outside because I couldn't see the link directly to the website. So then I would search it and then it would take me to the company website where I could apply, where I can apply. I see. Same LinkedIn, yeah. Okay, I so found something that's fully remote in AI. Uh, is, uh, is this is on LinkedIn or for both? Okay. Also, for Leap, you have to go outside Leap to apply. Yeah, I understand. Uh, but I was like asking, like, are you looking on LinkedIn and then you are not finding any remote jobs? Yeah, they, they are remote, but when you look at the job description or on the application questions, they ask whether you are authorized to work in that location. All right. Um, okay, I wonder if this is an experience of other people as well. Uh, have we any, like, this is a question for everyone. Like, uh, have you managed to find the remote jobs completely, especially in Gen AI, uh, for Gen AI um, specific specialization? No, so Hans is saying no, basically. Uh, as to him as well. Okay, so this is a general. Um, Selmat as well. Selmat, do you want to say something? Or is it like but by mistake? Okay. Yes, so uh, I, was, I was also having problems. I didn't actually realize it was a problem until Adiz mentioned it on the stand up. Most of the jobs that I saw on generative AI, like, which is also my, like, most of them say remote, but they also say, like, it to be. And across but even they have they it does say remote jobs but when you look at it it says uh, it mentions the specific country where you can be remote and i um but I've, i was having the same problems there are some selected um jobs that are that are completely remote but most of them are okay um like are these jobs like is like uh, concentrating in particular countries like uh, are they for example all from the US or something? Most of the jobs I've seen are from the US. Like uh, when I when I was like working on my filters on LinkedIn, I worked for US and then. Um, I don't know, I don't hear some of it. I'm not sure if that's my issue or on her side. Okay. Uh, okay, Salamawit, can you repeat what you said? Because I think I didn't hear you and I don't know if others heard you or not. Yeah, so my question, and this can be for everyone else as well, because you all said you are not finding completely remote jobs. Uh, can you, like, are you only looking at jobs for from the US or are these, uh, like, are you looking at jobs in other countries as well? But in, in, on LinkedIn, you can basically filter for for jobs by country, right? 
So, um, and other platforms also allow this. Basically, is this, I, I just want to try to understand, is this like a, a trend for, for a particular country or just in general? Uh, it's in general, even the mostly in the US and Europe. Yeah. Yeah. When you select remote, so you especially for Netherlands, yeah, a lot of them are in Netherlands and the UK and the US. Okay. Thank you, Daisy. Johannes, did you want to say something? Yeah. Yes. Uh, it was the same for me. I was looking at jobs and US, UK. Uh, I think Italy, France, uh, Singapore, and yeah, uh, it's the same. I see. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, okay. So it, it's a general, it's a general issue. So anything else? Any other problems you are seeing, like or, or like you're facing when you are looking for jobs or trying to apply? Yeah, besides, uh, I know. Besides the location. Johannes, go ahead. Uh, I want to ask uh, what uh, tool, like I'm using uh, LinkedIn and Glassdoor mainly, and if there is another website, because it will be repetitive uh, if I went again today or maybe tomorrow, it will be the same if there are other websites people are looking for. Uh, okay, good. So let's, uh, let's ask this to other people as well. Like, can you list maybe on the chat box which platforms are you using? Let's see, like... Uh, um, what like maybe if you can recommend also a platform you think is good so there is uh, linkedin glassdoor indeed what else are you people using? Are you using something different? Like you can raise, uh, are you only using this? And you can raise your hand, like basically you give a reaction. You only use this, uh, one of these three. Okay. That's the hum. What about the rest? Like there are not so many people, I guess. Uh, but about the rest of you, are you using something different? So we only have Daisy, Grace, Selmawet, Wandera. Um, are you using other platforms to look for jobs? Mm Um, okay, so now it is using crossover. Okay, um, is this like uh, is I don't know about it. Crossover is it like um, for jobs in any country or is it specific for? Like, does it like for, because sometimes like some countries they have uh, particular platforms so so okay, it over now all right so um 
yeah sometimes actually if you look at uh, like if you look for jobs on different platforms you would find repeated jobs because like the company will be um like uh, posting the same job in different um different platforms uh okay so actually i'm going to like uh, maybe pose this question on slack just uh, to see like to get more Okay, so anything else? Oh, cause like, uh, I mean, I know this has, session has been short, but like, because there is very little participation. Um, if there is anything else you want to say or anything, any issue you are seeing, basically. Okay, Johannes, go ahead. <coughs> Another question is uh, maybe, uh, has anyone tried Apple or Firewall and the experience on that? Uh, can you repeat it in here, Yorah? Uh, I was asking, uh, has anyone uh, tried Apple or Fiverr? Fiverr, okay. Um, so, yeah, so the... Uh, like for example for fiber uh, we are required to set up our profile or projectors and if someone did that how uh, you we have to for example uh, set a basic standard and uh, i forgot the third one if anyone did that uh, how exactly they did so the question is about upwork and uh fiber is it called Yes, yeah. Okay. So anyone who like maybe we can see the reaction. Have you any one of you tried? And just uh use an emoji to show do you have like no? Okay, only one answer. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Johannes, can you write down what is the, uh, the spelling of fiber? Because I don't know about it actually. Can you write it down in the chat box? Uh, I don't remember the name. Maybe I will type it uh, in Slack. Uh, All right. Dinner. Okay. Okay, good. Um, Fiverr. Yeah, seems like it. So, let's see. Oh, sorry, you were asking me the, okay, I thought you say uh, the specific question. Yeah, it's Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R. R-R, -R. R -R, yes, so, okay. Yeah, I was just asking about, like, what is the, all right. Great. Um, okay. So, so here it says like it's a freelance service marketplace. Um, so is setting your profile there means that you're looking for freelance job? Or does it have other options as well? 
Yep, so I'm just asking in general any one of you who have a knowledge about this. Yes, Johannes. <laughs> the platform is uh, almost the same as Upwork, but in Upwork, we have to actually apply to the job. But in Fiverr, uh, we will set what we are going to do and with the price and maybe we will <clears throat> build a portfolio and the customer actually come to us and request for some job. Okay. Uh, and my question was, yeah, my question was, how we are going to set up our profile. Okay, so um, uh, are you like, uh, do you want uh, some, okay, so basically this question can be like, uh, maybe if someone like the other trainees have tried it, uh, but are you looking for answer from the tutors basically? Like, no, it can be from anyone, if right. anyone has and experience on this yeah okay yeah so i personally don't have experience so i really cannot say anything about this but like maybe uh we can pose this question on slack and see if like um, if like if there are any takers i don't know uh, okay, thank you, Johannes, for this. Um, all right. Uh, any other? Like anyone who wants to like uh, maybe comment on anything or like ask a question about the jobs they have been seeing? I suppose so. So far, we can take a few more minutes, basically, to. Um. Yes, you know. Um, hello. Uh, I, I, hello. Sorry. Um, so I have a question. Sorry, I was a bit of the first question. But there's a job I, I was applying to, and okay, not not even one. There were jobs one I applied to, and some I was eyeing that they were talking about a data analyst or a data specialist. But um, the project, like they put it into brackets, like in a hyphen, the project the project that they're working on is, the projects they work on mostly are LLM projects. So I wanted to know, does that qualify as a generative AI engineering job? Like, can I do that? Because like, yeah, Gen AI works with LLMs or with that yes. engineering. Okay. okay. Okay, so uh, you're saying that they are asking for a data analyst, but they are specifying that the project uh, is using LLM. So do do they specify another thing? Like, can you can you see like uh, the other like requirement or other description are things that you are familiar with? You know what they are about, or the, you are like you have an idea about what tools to be used, like. Um, so mostly they've been talking about data, like from the job description, they've been talking about a lot of data analysts or data scientist tools. But then I, I think they've written like there's a preference for, I don't know, I think they've just said like a preference for someone who's worked with AI. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, okay. So here, I think um, there is a... Uh, Okay, unless there is something like a really major in the job description that you really don't fit. But I think, yes, it is a, an opportunity for you to apply for. It does qualify as like it's, it's an opportunity for someone who has knowledge or has an experience using uh, in generative AI. So uh, I think, yeah, you are like you can apply basically. 
um mm -hmm. unless if like uh the only thing that might be in the like if the the job roles is not something that you really want to do that's different but uh, otherwise yeah just from this um i don't know if it qualifies uh, like a, as a generative ai engineering job since it's like a data analyst and analyze analysis or data scientist but um Okay, so uh, sometimes the names of the roles are not really uh, so they, they they give you some information, but they are not everything. So like looking at the, the job description or the specification of the role is what's like really defines what is the job. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so um, you might see like uh, yeah, data and scientist. Uh, uh, jobs are really uh, like uh, in general require some like maybe uh, some uh, experience in analysis that you don't you know, you don't have or something like that but looking at this particular job it seems like it fits me so just apply so uh, like uh, all like the conclusion of all of this what I'm saying is that apply I think it's like uh, it could be suitable and um, okay. so yeah okay okay thank you right um yeah so sometimes uh, that would be like uh, even if the uh, i think that's as what uh, yababal was saying in the stand up basically like yeah so as long as you think uh, you know you have an idea of like uh, what everything in the job description is talking like it is so you have experience with part of it not not so much of an experience with the others but like at least you know the parameters of it like you know what it is uh you know like uh, you have a general idea what tools can be used and basically it's something that you can like uh, um you had a great experience in this training that you can start uh, a week uh, without knowing a lot of like the tools or a lot of like um, the technologies to be used but then you end up the week by like actually applying them and getting uh, to the goal uh, so basically in any job you will you will there will be some kind of um, let's say learning or adapting curve so don't worry so much that if it's like i'm not a perfect fit <laughs> uh, apply and then like uh, basically if you reach the interview step you can basically advocate for yourself that like whatever you don't uh, you don't you are, you are not ma you haven't mastered yet like something like I, I can do that basically um in i can learn i can just pick it up um i think yeah i think um yeah um this is can be like uh, a mindset to 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 approach um jobs this way sometimes yeah for me it sounds okay maybe i shouldn't go too much into this since <laughs> like uh, i gave the answer already so johannes can you clarify said like uh, all roles don't have uh to, okay i don't understand your sentence can you clarify johannes so i i had a friend like forgot a job uh in a pool and uh the role is uh at the beginning of the model building not model building actually uh he was using crack and uh i think he is using crack to generate qa uh question and answers from uh a data and there are other person <coughs> who are doing uh, the model building part. So even though they are saying data analysis, uh, they might want a person who have some idea on uh, LLM. And uh, when we are looking for uh, Gen AI role or machine learning, it doesn't always have to be, uh, the task doesn't always have to be model building. Yeah, exactly. So this is, um, thank you, Johannes, for this, yes. Um, um so yeah basically the role can be like this the one that sheila was talking about um yeah so the analysis could be something like like what you were doing in like your ada or like uh, yeah something that you just need to 
be using a rug for. So yeah, not not all uh, generative AI model uh, roles will be about um, model building or fine tuning or like something uh, that um, uh, how to say. So there will be variations of what like uh, roles will be. Again, um, the title of the job is uh, like uh, only one indication. Looking at the description, is is um, like can give you like a, um, a more clearer idea of what is the role involved. But again, also that sometimes is not completely enough. So you will not really. Sometimes you can see the job description and you're still not completely sure what is um, the role. Uh, or you you only be seeing part of what is uh, the role will be involving. So um, don't worry so much if you don't fit everything. If you pass through, like when you pass through, like the the first step and get to the interview, that is uh, like where um, basically you can learn more about. You will have a better idea, like what is the job involves and what is. Uh, the role will be and of course if you pass that you can basically decide if that 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 role if what we, is what you want uh i guess uh, maybe you worry like um okay uh maybe if like what is the worst that can happen if you apply to a job that you are not a perfect fit for is that you're not going to pass to through to the interview stage that the worst can happen and as long as you're not taking too much time doing this, it's not really uh, much of a loss to apply. So I'm not saying like apply randomly to jobs, but um, looking at the job description, uh, as long as there is a general idea that you understand what this job is about, um, and you think the role is fits uh, more or less what you really want to do, yeah, just apply. And uh, this is like the final advice. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else? Anyone who wants to like, maybe if you like have a question, uh, you want to be maybe can be answered um, by the people, or I don't know, just a wondering in your head, doubts or anything. Okay, just let me, uh, I maybe I didn't give you enough time, but um, there are a few people here. Can maybe, uh, and this can be a final thing, can I get like, uh, what is, how do you feel about, about this uh, job applications? And like, how are you feeling about this uh, at this stage? Like, are you, um, how optimistic are you? Can I get like some kind of a grade? Like from one to 10, how optimistic do you feel? Okay, good. So I'm already saying eight, that's good. The others? Can you, can you give us an answer? Sheila, Daisy, Johannes. Uh, Bethlehem. Okay, we have a, seven, a couple of sevens. All right. Yeah, so it's different from day to day, but like, uh, she likes six okay that is dangerously it's dangerous uh, six is like closer to <laughs> all right uh johanna so on average how how like what is the range do you range from like uh from nine to ten or is it uh, the wider range
Okay, so um, okay. So eight to ten, but sometimes it's uh, like can be one. So this is understandable, and uh, this is my own for my own experience. So um, yeah, so it's not like take it as a general uh, advice from the academy, but from me, I think uh, keeping because uh, what is most important for to like reach a goal of getting a job is that you have to be persistent. And one, one major obstacle is how optimistic you feel. Sometimes, sometimes you will feel down, like, okay, I'm getting too many rejections. I'm not getting enough uh, jobs that I want to apply to. Like, I'm not finding a lot of things that are suitable and you feel really down, like, uh, okay, it's not very hopeful. I'm um, like, I should just give up. And uh, so this is like the most, I think this is the most, the biggest obstacle because like it will prevent you from being persistent and like grinding on so i really not going to be giving you a good advice here because i don't know what to do to combat that in a how to say i, I don't i will not give I, I don't have anything that is like guaranteed that will, will combat this but like keep in mind yes like that is it's not there is no like the problem is not um how to say that this is to be expected and um that you just need to be persistent so like uh, um if you are feeling really down just try to like cheer yourself up doing something maybe you can stop applying uh, focus on something else that you like and then get back to it with some refreshed uh spirits and um just do it what you can so that you keep at it uh for and then like um um like um, it, it's not a guarantee but uh, you really have a high probability of getting a job so yes you have to persist and like wait it wait it <laughs> wait uh, and be patient and and uh you'll be like hopefully soon enough you will be like uh, rewarded with the job that you you want anyway so uh i know this um session was like i had a low participation probably people were exhausted from the session before it but thank you everyone who was here and thank you for your contributions and uh let's continue this uh, on slack hopefully people will participate and answer the questions that were like uh, uh, we'll ask so okay see you next time there'll be a session tomorrow and on friday as well okay um